State capture is when the machinery of the state, taxpayers' money, the offices, the departments, the services that are meant for the public are treated as private property of some person or some organization. Those institutions stop doing their real job of defending the public and defending our democracy and started being used as instruments of the ruling party. I think that the state began to be seen quite quickly as a means of enrichment, both for individuals and indeed for the ANC itself. Some of the senior government officials, senior management government officials, were doing business with the state. Now that is wrong in any democracy and fundamentally unconstitutional. A lot of how the ANC has operated over the years is to try and capture institutions that are even meant to be independent. The IEC, for instance, to capture institutions like the Public Protector, for instance, to capture institutions like uh, state-owned enterprises, ESCOM and the like. State institutions are not an extension of the party, should never be captured by the party, and need to be there to serve all people, whichever party is in power. The placement of these key individuals into key institutions was so fundamentally part of this grand plan to be able to siphon and steal as much money as possible and to make people fabulously rich while the citizens of the country suffered. And of course that is the way democracy dies. It is extraordinarily dangerous and that is why there must be a very clear separation between party and state institutions.